Good afternoon again. This is Shaw Shaw SJ, and I'm here to do another review on this time. It's going to be my Wolf Gray Light Graphite Air Jordan 5 sneakers. And here we go. This here is the box. These originally came out, I believe, in 1990, and this this pair here, it's a retro. They came out in 2011, so here we go, let's do the unboxing. First, here's this right here, and you can see 2011, light graphite, white wolf gray, and Air Jordan 5 Retro. Same with here, Air Jordan 5 Retro, light graphite, white wolf gray. And here we go. Let's let's see what's in this box. Okay, so here here's the, my sneakers, and as you can see, they both have the lace lock that were part of the original sneakers of the Air Jordan 5 that came out in 1990. And I believe on the original pair, instead of this Jumpman logo that is on the side, they had a Nike Air logo, or the Nike right there and the same with on this side and also they have on the inside of the the tongue it says Air Jordan right here Air Jordan same with on this one Air Jordan And then another thing about these Retro 5s is you have the 23 right here that's on the heel. It looks like it's kind of embroidered on the heel right there. And I think there was another colorway which was the, the red and black. Like one of the original colorways that also had that that 23 logo Jordan's number on that heel as well and then you have the the white and light graphite shark teeth right here that was part of the Air Jordan 5's and that was one of the concepts that I believe Tinker Hatfield who designed these shoes and was one of the makers of the, the Air Jordans but that was instrumental on Air Jordan 5's which he's also done on the retros well with that these are my Air Jordan 5's You have the Jumpman logo down here on the on the bottom of the the shoe. Jumpman, Jumpman. And I think I think I got these shoes from. Uh, Fight Club I think that's where I got these pair from and I, I noticed on there that mine are a size 9 and they don't have a size 9 or they're they're out of stock right now with the size 9 so I don't think 
you'd be able to get these from Fight Club anymore, but possibly from StockX or Stadium Goods, you might be able to get a pair of these if you're into the Retro 5s. So, another thing is these are probably one of my most expensive pair of sneakers I have. And when I got them, I think they were in the utmost of maybe 350 maybe 400 dollars and i think now they're going for like 500 or 600 dollars plus to get a pair of these retro 5 wolf grays that came out in 2011 so with that i'd like to thank you all for listening and i hope you like this review on these Retro 5 Air Jordan Wolf Gray sneakers. And until next time, see you later. Goodbye.